Hello and welcome to my Shorts Ranger Services based in Bradford, West Yorkshire, here in the UK. I'd like a big thank you to all the new subscribers. As I promised you, when we get individual vehicles in with different faults, we'll show you what we see on a daily basis. In today, we've got a Nissan Navara on a 2007 plate, it belongs to Danny over in uh, Manchester. Um, it's come in because he uses it for his caravan and he's realised that he's got some form of coolant problem. Now this particular vehicle, I've diagnosed it already and I've had it running, has guaranteed got a crack cylinder head. Now if you've got an overheating problem, it's imperative that you deal with it immediately, especially in the summer months, because um, if you're going on the long distance, trust me, it will break down. And ignoring it and breaking down the, the damage to inside the engine can be pretty phenomenal. I've seen a crack cylinder head completely wipe out an engine completely. Every part was absolutely seized solid. Now, what I want to show you basically is if you've got an overheating problem, it can be for a number of reasons. One, a stuck thermostat. Two, faulty water pump. Three, a faulty water pump drive belt, so the belt might have come off. Number three, uh, sorry, five, <laughs> gasket. Or six, actually a crack cylinder head. On this particular occasion, it is a crack cylinder head. Now what you find by driving around with a crack cylinder head is exhaust gases basically pressurise the cooling system and what happens is, is you're overheating. So the last thing that you ever want to do is undo the cooling system on a pressurised system when it's hot because I'll show you later what, what it can actually do to you, it can scold you. Now, this particular vehicle is going to come into his workshop and we're going to replace the cylinder head for the customer so he can go back to caravanning. Um, I'll start the vehicle now and I'll let you know what um, the effects are of opening these radiator caps when it's hot. So it's a must, must not do. Do not undo these caps when the engine is hot. If you need to do that because you pressurise it, your system's pressurised, I advise you do it when it's cold. And what you need to do is you need to slowly, slowly, slowly let the radiator cap off and eventually you'll hear this as all the exhaust gases escape from your coolant system. So I'm just going to start the car now. So remember what I've said to you, if you've got a, a water problem, don't deal with the engine or don't touch anything when it's hot. Just do it when it's cold. What happens if you do it when it's hot? That happens. And then you lose most of the coolant that's inside the engine and now you'll have a severe airlock. So it's imperative that you let the engine cool down and then let the pressure out. Now, Here. Like I've told him the park down there, don't let your mum know that snap on's here, she's costing us a fortune in tools. Right, big thank you to all those that subscribe to his channel, we've got some very interesting videos and some very important people coming in next week to talk about Nissan warranty terms and conditions and how disgusted they are with Nissan. Thanks for coming, give us a like, subscribe to his channel.